Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. I have a quick tip for Cinema 4D and this one's pretty fun. So let's add a plane. So there's a lot of subdivision on a plane by default and lately I've been just putting pictures on a plane. I don't need all this subdivision. So I'm constantly going over here and changing the segments down to one. Um, so let's say that we wanted this to be our default. Well, it's really easy to change the default of any object or tool in Cinema 4D. Just make the change and then right above here under edit, just click on set as default. And that's all you have to do. Click yes and bam. Now if we put a plane into our scene, we're going to have no subdivisions. So this is now the default way that your object's going to be put in. So I find myself doing this with a lot of different things. So for instance, I set my sphere to icosahedron instead of the standard because I don't really like that one. I always change this to icosahedron. So I figured just go to edit, set as default, and now I don't have to do that again. Same with some things like subdivision. I kind of hate it when you put in subdivision and the editor and the renderer are different numbers because I like to see what's going to be rendered. So I just change this guy to two so that they actually match. And then I will set that as default, set yes. And now anytime I put in a subdivision, they're both gonna be the same. So I've done that with quite a few different objects. You can even do this with text or any of your tools. So let's put in our text. Let's say that we hate it when it always comes in left justified, let's put it middle justified. And we can just go to edit, set as default, yes. And now anytime we put our text in here, it's going to be aligned to the middle. Another thing you could do if you wanted to is change the font. So we could change this to something nice like Comic Sans and just go to edit, set as default, yes. And now anytime you put in your text, you'll have Comic Sans, which is also a really nice uh, feature that will save you a lot of time in changing your font to Comic Sans. So that's my quick tip. You can change the default of just about anything. And if you continue to do this and sort of tweak the defaults to match what you usually use, you're gonna end up saving a lot of time in the long run. So hopefully you found something useful out of that. Thanks for checking out Pixlab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.